Greetings to all of humanity. It's really a joy, it's a pleasure. It's always an honor for me to be greeting and bringing to you this message of emancipation, whereby I'm pointing you to look inwardly to discover that your real identity is your divinity. And that is why I want to encourage you never to doubt the power of your own mind to heal and create your reality. And that is what I want to talk to you about. Because in these days, we see many are falling victim to the system that wants to control their minds. Because many people are not aware of how powerful they are and how they should be in control of their own minds. Never live your life in doubt and fear when you do not know that your mind can be used to bring healing to you both physically and spiritually even emotionally financially when you do not know that you can use your mind to acquire, to acquire all of these things, then you will live in doubt towards your own self. So right now, everyone in the world is being tested to see who are the ones who are doubting the power of their own mind to heal themselves and to create their reality. You see, many people do not know that it is their own thoughts that is creating their reality and creating their personality. Moreover, most people do not know that they can create their reality consciously. Many people read the Bible and believe that the Bible is literal and believe that the Bible is secular history. Therefore, they overlook the scripture that says, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. And they fail to realize that the heart is the most powerful thing in their body. And to think from your heart is to live in the feeling of your wish fulfilled. So many people do not know that they are the Lord and Master of their destiny. Many people do not know that they can create their reality consciously. So they're going to fall victim. Because what they're going to do, they're going to give up away their liberty. And so right now we see all around the world, how many people have been caught in the net of propaganda. We see how much people have been caught in the web of a scamdemic. We see where many people are giving money more value over themselves by allowing themselves to be inoculated because they have lost all faith in themselves. And they have found themselves dwelling in a place of doubt and fear, as I would have said before. But let me say that perfect love casts out all doubt and all fear. That is why you have to learn to love yourself. You have to learn to believe in yourself. And you have to trust the power that is within you. That you can use to heal and create. Because the power that makes the body heals the body. You have to tap in to your supernatural self. You have to tap in to your higher self. And the only way you can tap into your higher self is by learning to believe in yourself. Trust in the God that is within you. Believing that the kingdom of God is within you. That is why in these days, it's only the strong will survive. It's only the strong will be able to use their minds to heal their bodies. 
It's only the strong will be able to use their minds to create their reality and create their life the way how they want it to be. Because they would realize that they are the government over their body. They would realize that they are the power and there is no other power. Those who understand the power of their mind would realize that there is no such a thing as a hierarchy system or any aristocracy. The only aristocracy there is, is the aristocracy of the spirit. And we are all spirit having a human experience. And that is why people who are in control of their minds and who know that they can use their minds to heal themselves and to create their reality. They, they would not get themselves caught up in politics. They would not get themselves caught up in religion. And they would not get themselves caught up in the system that wants to keep you controlled. So my brother and my sisters, everything that you're seeing happening right now with the scamdemic, it is all because of they want to control your mind and take over your consciousness. But you are the one who have to grab hold of your consciousness and being more aware because there's power in awareness. And the more aware you are, is the more powerful you are. That's why my brother and my sister always encourage you to meditate every day, visualize every day, use your affirmations every day, and do your mirror work every day. Get as much sunlight as possible. Get good drinking water. Eat the right kind of food. And feed any right kind of thoughts. Do not get caught up with too much news. Yes, you would want to know what is going on. But do not get too involved. Do not use your emotions towards these negative news that are, that are going around. And the things that you're seeing and hearing on the internet. Instead, assume the feeling of your wish, whatever wish you have in your life. Assume the feeling of that wish being fulfilled in your life. And see yourself being and doing that which you so desire. That is why you got to pray more because prayer is desire and meditation so you have to vibrate higher in these times you have to think on the things that are more uplifting in these times because they're using so much distractions to keep you under the energy of fear but i'm saying to you never doubt the power of your mind to heal and to create because you are the creator of your destiny you are the perceiver beholding the perception you are the creator beholding the creation i'm saying to you this world that you're seeing right here right now thinking that it is real it's all imaginary it's an imaginary world that's why you must live morning noon and night in your imagination and to do that, you have to have the time to do so. So my brother, my sisters, use your time wisely. Because everything is an investment. Invest in yourself by trusting in the ideas, the goals, the dreams, all the things that you so desire. Knowing that nothing in this world can stop you from having them. Except if you have doubt and fear and you doubt yourself. Because the only enemy there is, is your negative, doubtful self. Your self-doubt. Because if there is no enemy within, the enemy without can do you no harm. So, my brother and my sisters, everything that you see happening in the world, you know, it's an agenda, it's been happening, you know, it's been planned for a very, very, very long time. If you, 
if, if you're a person who used to like you know um tune into info wars with, with with alex jones and so on you'll hear all of these things all the way back in 1998 he was speaking about all of these things to come if you were the person who used to listen to david ike you know, david ike would have been speaking about all of these things that were, were to come and i remember i saw a, a video with david ike when he did an interview with credo credo mutua in in south africa with a tribal leader and talk about all of these things that was supposed to happen because of these elite okay and their agenda and so many people thinking that this inoculate this inoculation is just about their health only no it's 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 more than that it's a control program it's a program to control you it's a a, a program to control the world's population it's gonna keep you docile my brother, my sisters, these are the days you gotta be strong. And you gotta learn to believe in yourself. And you have to learn to be contenting. If you are the kind of person who like to chase after all of the you know material things of this world and you believe that it is real, and you believe you have to prove something to society, you're gonna get chopped. Because right now, there are millions and millions of people around the world who are trapped because they have mortgages over their heads. They have massive, massive, massive loans over their heads. But even though they have that over their heads, if they would only believe in themselves, they would be able to open up a wall of possibilities by standing up for what they believe in to be the truth. And I'm speaking from experience because it wasn't until I was willing to let go whatever jobs I had before I even became this conscious. Like for example, when I was working at the Bukumembe Resort, where was my first experience to experience how uh, white people really cheat black, uh, normally cheat black people and how they see black people because I grew up in a you know predominantly black country and never had experience around white people was until I went there and I see that and I see how black people normally just think like slaves, most of them, sorry. Okay, let me correct that, okay? It doesn't mean everybody, okay? Where many of them normally think that way, okay? And, and the way how they see themselves and put more, more value and money than themselves. When I, when I saw all of that, I refused to dwell among people of that kind of mindset. You know, and I call a meeting with the, with, 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 with the white men and tell them I'm not no indentured slave and I do not have any slave mentality and I was going to leave the job because they, they brought a, a fitness trainer who was white and he did no shit. When it's time for him to give the yoga, um, give the guest thing like yoga and those kind of things, he coming and whispering to me and telling me I'm the man. You the man. I say no, you the man. You, 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 you do it. Then he whispering to me and telling me he can't do it. And, and I wait until he, he leave for England to go take a, a, a crash course to come back. And that was when I decided I, I'm going to walk off. Because he was the one they wanted was to publish as their, as their trainer and this and that. And he didn't know shit. Okay, and I, I took that stand. And just by a mere assumption, I'm holding to that assumption. I'm believing that assumption. That what I wanted was to do was going to meet me right in the house. And I wasn't going to ask anyone any favor is going to come to me. I affirm that without being disconscious at the time. I affirm it. And I never went anywhere. And the message came right to me in my house. And so my brother and my sisters. Sometimes you have to be willing to let go. So that you will be able to enter into a wall of possibilities okay many, many times when people go 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 to a job they're actually exchanging you know their time for money but if you are in control of, of, of your time you'll be able to think more you might be able to do more i'm not saying that a person shouldn't go to their job i'm not saying that i don't want you to get me the wrong way okay because people need to work 
But I'm saying to you, when you have to come to a place where you have to make a crucial decision, where someone wants to act as if they know what's best for you and they're in control of your health and they love you so much that they want to protect you and they will do anything to inoculate you. That's what I'm talking about. So I don't want anyone to get the wrong ideas. That's when you have to take a stance, my brother and my sisters. That's when you have to say that everything is mental and everything is psychological. And I would not doubt the power of my mind to heal and to create my reality. That's what I'm talking about. So don't get me wrong, okay? But some people, their faith have to come to a certain level for them to vibrate at that level, okay? So, my brother, my sisters, we are, it's all a walk, in, a walk in progress. But these are just words of encouragement to encourage you. Okay? Because, you know, as I said before, you know, a lot of people, you know, there's a lot of things they have to deal with. And there's a lot of things they have to face in these times. And, and you know, it's not as easy as I am speaking right now. Okay? I know it's very hard for some people. But I'm saying to you that you can lift your faith. To a certain place. You understand? Because for example, let me put this in another way. If let's say your employer was to tell you that you have to give him your, your wife to sleep with and your daughters to sleep with to keep your job, what are you going to do? Give your wife and your daughter for your employer to sleep with? You will say, no, that's a hard thing. I can't do that. It's the same thing when they want to inoculate you. It's the same thing. It's not, it's not different. So my brother, my sisters, I just want to encourage you to believe in yourself and believe in the power of imagination because God in man is man's imagination. That's the creator in everyone. Everything in this world, it was forced a thought, it was forced an idea, it was forced imagine. Money was forced an idea. Money was forced a thought. It was forced imagine. As a matter of fact, money is energy. And you are a mass of energy. So you are money. So my brother and my sisters, tap into yourself where there is the real true value. So with that being said, my brother and my sisters, I want to say to you, if this is the very first time that you're listening to me and what I'm saying it makes sense to you, really resonating with you and you haven't subscribed already, I'm encouraging you to subscribe, to like, to comment, or to share this video. Also, if you haven't followed me as yet on Instagram, I'm encouraging you to follow me on Instagram at Black Mad Guru. And if you haven't checked out my page as yet, I'm encouraging you to check out my page where I have the inner sun science and technology to create your reality consciously, uh, the inner sun engineering to create your reality consciously, showing you that there's a light in you, there's a sun in you, and as the sun rises in purpose, so you have to rise that energy that is in you and live in purpose also. Okay. Now, if there's any other way that you'd like to support this work, we have a, a, a link that is down below. It's a paper link. Feel free to check it out if you definitely feel led to do so. So with that being said, my brother and my sisters, I want to know. Say peace. Love you all. I'm out.